and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about two of the reasons that you are not getting results from your attempts to lose fat because that is a very common goal amongst many of you. Um, yeah, so I thought I would talk about fat loss today. Of course, there are other goals that we can go into on another video. Uh, but these are two of the biggest reasons that I see. There are other reasons as well. Um, but start with these ones. So the first reason is simply you are eating too much food. Most of you do not know how much food you are actually putting in your mouth. And the only way that you can know this for sure is if you are tracking um, that is weighing out your food and logging it into an app to see how many calories you are actually eating. Uh, even if you're eating healthy food or you're doing some special diet, there's a very good chance, and especially if you are incorporating cheat days on the weekend or eating clean all week and then going nuts on the weekend, there is a very good chance that over the course of the week, you are not eating in a calorie deficit. That is, you are not eating less than your maintenance calories, and that means you are not eating less than, the body, um, than what your body actually needs to survive. Uh, so, even if you are eating healthy, and you think you're eating healthy seven days of the week, there is a good chance that you're still eating too many calories because healthy food still contains calories. It can contain a lot of calories. So for example, if you are eating avocado and salmon for dinner every day and you think like, okay, I, um, oh. if you're eating avocado and salmon every day, thinking that it's healthy and you should be losing fat because of it, you need to actually enter those foods into a food app, weigh them out and see that they are actually very high in fat, very high in calories, and especially for the portion that you're probably eating, um, it's very easy to underestimate calories in those types of foods. So there's so many other healthy foods that contain so many calories and are probably actually tipping you over um, and preventing you from losing fat. And again, every little bite, every little um, sip of a drink, it all adds up. So you've got to really take control of it. It's very easy, um, I think, in like where we are right now in the nutrition world with like everyone coming out about gut issues and hormones. And it's so easy to blame those things because it's kind of out of our control. Whereas food is very much in our control. We don't want to blame that. Whereas these other things, it's so easy just to be like, oh, I've got hormone issues. That's why I'm not losing fat. It's impossible for me. It's not the case at all. It is very highly likely that you are just eating too much food to, still. So check that out. Track your food for a while and see where you're at. If you're not eating in a calorie deficit, then create a deficit and spend you know two weeks to a month in a deficit and then reassess whether you're losing fat or not. Um, second reason that you are not getting results is that you are probably measuring progress wrong. So or you're not measuring enough, not taking enough measures of progress. So a lot of you will just look at body weight alone, which is not wrong necessarily, but it's not enough. You also want to be looking at body waist measurement. So that just means taking a measuring tape and putting it around your belly button and taking that measurement because if you're losing body fat and the scale weight is staying the same, your body waist measurement will decrease. So even if like scales stay the same, it doesn't mean you're not making progress if your body waist is going down or if your waist measurement is going down. Um, there's so many reasons that scale weight can fluctuate or can stay the same. It doesn't necessarily mean fat. Like it's so easy for water, for extra carbs in your diet. If you go out on the weekend and have a really heavy carb meal and you don't usually eat a lot of carbs during the week, very much likely that you will gain weight on Monday, gain weight. And it's water weight, it's not actually fat. Same with like Hormones can actually have a really big influence on scale weight in females um, and if you're sick as well and your body's holding on to water, uh, that can influence scale weight. So it's just not a very accurate measure. You want to still measure body weight, but 
it's not the only measurement you should be taking if you are concerned about uh, your results and making fat loss progress. So those are the two biggest reasons that I see. Um, I hope this video helped you a little bit. If you have any questions, reach out to me and thank you for watching.